for while out of direct communication with the Earth, it fired its engine to slow its descent to a touchdown on the near side of the moon. Collins in Columbia continued in orbit, awaiting their return. Okay, all flight controllers, go no go for landing. Retro. Go. Rhino. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Econ. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're go for landing. Over. Roger, understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. You're looking great. How you doing, Control? We look good here. Fine. Uh, how about you, Telcom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 37 degrees. Still looking very good. Your go. Top alarm. 1201. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. 1201 alarm. Same type, we're go flight. Okay, we're go. We're go, same type, we're go. Altitude 1600. Eagle looking great. Roger, 1202, we copy it. 35 degrees, 750, coming down to 23. 540 feet, down to 15. 150 feet, down at 4. Altitude, velocity, light. Three and a half down. 220 feet. Eleven forward, coming down nicely. 200 feet. Four and a half down. Five and a half down. 100 feet. Three and a half down. Nine forward. 875 feet. Guys looking good. Down a half. Six forward. 60 seconds. Lights on. Forward. Forward. 40 feet down. Two and a half. Picking up some dust. Straight shadow. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. <laughs> okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's not uh, even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. Takes a pretty good little jump. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footbeds are only. Uh, Depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. I'm going to step off the lamina. That's one small step per man. One giant leap for mankind. Oh, that looks beautiful from here, Neil. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. You're in our field of view now. Okay, ready for me to come out? All set. Okay, I'm on the top step. It's a very simple matter to hop down from one step to the next. You've got three more steps and then a long one. Okay, I'm going to leave that one foot up there and uh, both hands down to about the fourth rung up. There you go. Okay, now I think I'll do the same.
Agment. Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. Every precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun, to record moon quakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Houston, Columbia, on I gate, over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes. Alone, 45 miles above the moon's surface, Michael Collins completed an orbit every two hours. He listened to the progress of the moonwalk and awaited the moment when his companions on the surface would lift off to rendezvous with him. Within this strange ship, two astronauts and a treasure. Triple sealed vacuum boxes of rocks and soil from the surface of the moon. Locked within these rocks were secrets of the ages to be studied and deciphered by the scientists of Earth. The age of the moon. The age of the sun. How the moon was formed. How life began. Was there ever life on the moon? Was the moon once molten and volcanic, or has it always been cold and dead? Was it once part of the Earth? Or was it a wandering planet captured by the Earth eons ago? How hot was the sun three billion years ago? Armstrong and Aldrin, with their precious load of moon rocks, had transferred to Columbia. The faithful eagle, its task completed, could be cut adrift. Columbia fired out of lunar orbit to begin its three-day fall back to Earth, where the recovery fleet was waiting for its splashdown in the Pacific. Apollo 11, Houston, and the blind uh, Airbus has a visual contact. 